Hello and welcome to another edition of Fix 64. I'm Darren Hadley. And uh, today I have the Minis Forum M1 Pro with a Core Ultra 9 285H and up to 128 gigabytes of DDR5 6400 MHz. Two NVMe slots. One can actually be installed, or an Oculink port can be installed into that. And one just for, you know, general usage. Has Wi Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4. And it also has an enhanced cooling system. Minis Forum did not provide me with this, but I do have a link below that has an affiliate link and so I make a commission. Anyway, it's also got USB 4, which is awesome. So let's do a unboxing and then we will open it up. Very nice. Reminds me of the uh, Mac Mini. But anyway, I think, yeah, all you have to do is take these four screws out and watch the cables inside. It has Visa mount, USB 3.2, USB 4, microphone jack, and microphone headphone combo. Reset, power button, um, power, uh, 2.5 gigabit LAN, display port, USB 4, HDMI, and a USB A. And here's where the Oculink will go once I install it. Kensington lock. Uh, yeah, cool little machine. This must be the Oculink adapter. Yes. I will leave that out. Documentation. And the display, or no, an HDMI cable, power adapter, not too big, and then some screws and a Visa mount. Very nice. All right, now we're going to uh, open it up and install some RAM and an SSD, and then we will install Windows. And I don't think I'll test it in this video, but we will do future testing videos with Oculink and external graphics, stuff like that. Okay, let's uh, open this up. Got a two terabyte Orico E7400 and some crucial DDR5 5600, a 64 gig kit. Um, I was thinking about doing the 6400 like I did in the Alienware, but $307 is just a lot, and so yeah, I'm just going to go with $5,600 for now. 
All right, let's start off by doing the screws. Let's open this up. Okay, there's an arrow that tells you where the front is. And the cables are both on the side here. So let me see if I can, yeah, I can just kind of open it up. There's two thermal pads. Here's where the one SSD goes, and then we'll put the Oculink in here. I'm going to carefully unplug these. Uh -oh. And set that aside. Oh yeah, the Oculink port just pops out just like in the UM890, a little rubber piece. Let's do the RAM first. Stick one. Stick two. And the NVMe. And the um, NVMe drive, I actually pre pre installed Windows on it so everything wouldn't take as long. I'm going to take the screw out here. Okay. Put that in. Place the screw. Easy. So yeah, I would say the equivalent of this one in AMD is probably the UM890, which I've already done a video on. And it has, also has a slot like this. Okay. Anyway, if this is anything like the UM890 Pro, you gotta kind of move this plastic in the back a little bit so you can squeeze this down, otherwise you're going to hit this. See, there's like a little lip right there. And it just hits that. So you got to bend it slightly. And make sure it clicks into place. And make sure it's lined up with the back. And you should be good. And then you can replace the screw right there. See if I move the plastic, pops up. So this isn't as difficult as it looks. Okay. Anyway, once you get it where you need it, replace that screw.
make sure that's the front. This is very easy. I mean, I could put another NVMe in there, but I decided, you know, I have two Oculink eGPUs, so why not uh, use them? Okay. A little dirt on there. Okay, let's uh, see if I broke it or not. Let's go plug it in and fire it up. Okay, there it is plugged in over there. Um, put a, my uh, Mac Mini M4 Pro next to it, and as you can see, the size is very close. Uh. Let's turn it on. That's a good sign. Yay. Looks like it's going to boot. I need a new chair that doesn't squeak. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to continue uh, going through the setup and we'll get into Windows. Okay, it shows us Core Ultra 9285H. 64 gigabytes of RAM, Windows 11 Pro, cool. I'm going to definitely have to do some benchmarking on this thing. It is a nice little computer, very fast. Looks like we had a lot of Windows updates. So I'm going to let those run and once I get this thing operational fully, I will be back with another video on it. Um, I have a few more coming out this next week. One's a thumb drive from move speed. The other's a uh, two and a half inch uh, solid state drive from Avodi. And then I also have another uh, mini PC from Blackview that I'll be going over. So, and then we'll get into some benchmarking on, on this machine. Oh yeah, and I have a GPD pocket, uh, or no, it's a micro PC too that I'm going to unbox and put an SSD in, so that'll be fun. Okay, I want to run a Geekbench on the processor real quick, and maybe we'll run one on the ARC 140T also. Okay, um, we have 2,950 single core and 15,422 multi-core. See how that compares. Here's the 7900X AMD Aurora R15. So singles right there. Um, there's the i9-13900. There's the Ultra 7 
five. Yeah, something doesn't seem right with the mall. Okay, here in uh, the power profile, it's on balanced mode. Let's switch it to performance. And let's give that a try. Everything else seemed like it was on, like all the cores and all that. So we will see what that does. I'll be back. Well, I guess it is what it is. Oops. Let's see what the UM890 Pro got. Here's the Ryzen 99955HX that was in the MSA2. It's 3172 and 18399. Maybe I never ran this on the UM890. Here's an Ultra 7155H that was in the MSI Claw. It's getting about what a 7900X does though. I don't know, I just expect it better for some reason, but it's probably, this is probably what it is. Okay, let's try this ARC GPU. Okay, we got a 41637. That's open CL though. I'm going to try a Vulcan also. Yeah, another thing I wasn't looking at is the uh, 285H has 16 cores and 7900X has 12 cores, 24 threads. Um, 13900 has 24 cores. 265K has 20 cores. So, yeah, of course, multi-multi. Uh, core is going to be better on those because they're more coarse. So that makes sense. Anyway, I'd like to thank my viewers and subscribers, all you guys out there. And if you like what you see and you want to be notified of my next video when it's released, just click the bell button and like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.